test is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another webinar agent training series. Uh, my name is Christopher Cook, Digital Marketing Director for Jack's Fax Travel Marketing. We are joined today um, by Jimmy, Director of Sales for Agencia Global. Um, we're going to be discussing selling consolidated fares and using their platform to find the best fares and commissions. Uh, as a reminder, there will be time for questions after Jimmy's presentation. So as they come to you, feel free to write them in the questions area provided, and we will circle back around at the end of the presentation and make sure we get any questions answered for you. And now, let me turn the presentation over to Jimmy. Thanks, Chris. Uh, just a moment here, there we go. So thank you very much, everyone, for attending. I see uh, we're up to uh, just about 40 so far, and uh, the numbers keep climbing, so very exciting. Um, so, uh, as Chris already mentioned, my name is Jimmy, I'm the Director of Sales at Agencia Global. Um, for those of you who have not yet heard of us, we are a consolidator, uh, both in Canada and uh, the US, uh, with partnerships with over 150 airlines. Um, basically, our intent today is to show you our booking platform, being Agencia Global, and we're kind of going to walk you through uh, the booking process uh, to kind of give you an idea of what the tool would feel like um, as, as you're using it. So um, today's webinar is not just uh, an Agencia Global uh, effort, so as you were probably made aware through the eBlast, uh, this is being done uh, in collaboration with Avianca Airlines. Um, so they were the ones gracious enough to offer us a pair of tickets to be raffled off to uh, one of you by uh, the end of the webinar or following the webinar, excuse me. Um, so for those who didn't uh, notice, there is some criteria to qualify. So obviously you need to attend. If I'm speaking to you, you're already attending, so that's fantastic. But you do also need to register an account on Agencia. We're not forcing you to make a booking or anything to that effect, but feel free to uh, register an account. And we do also ask that you like both Agencia's and Avianca's uh, Facebook pages. So once we do draw the lucky winner, we run that audit, and if you do meet the criteria, then we'll be in touch uh, with you most likely uh, by tomorrow, if not, let's call it Monday at the latest, um, with the lucky winner. So on that note, uh, I figured what better than to kind of show you the booking process um, on an OD that you could book with uh, your free tickets. So when you log into Agencia Global, this is your homepage uh, that we call our dashboard. So in many cases, when you log in, you will see an airline kind of promoting uh, some news. In this case, um, Avianca is now over 100 years old, uh, oldest airline in the Americas, and not just because they're sponsoring this uh, webinar along with us, but uh, they are one of our more strategic partners uh, in South America. And um, I can speak from personal experience that they're just a pleasure to work with. So. We figured, hey, let's show them some love on this webinar. So uh, we're gonna book that flight. Uh, I was thinking perhaps out of one of their hubs um, in Miami, we'll book uh, Miami to Bogota. Um, and there is some actual good news, even for those who don't uh, win the drawing, Avianca has offered something to all Agencia users uh, up to and including June 30th. So we'll get to that shortly. So this is your homepage, as I said, you'll see a little banner here. Now you can proceed immediately to booking a flight or a car rental. We do offer car rentals kind of uh, sourced through a third party, so this isn't our uh, content, but we do offer it in case uh, you would need it. Where our specialty lies is in booking flights, so that's what we're gonna do. Now in this section here, bookings needing attention, if ever you have any bookings that were flagged for a schedule change, that are perhaps under review for uh, fraud, or anything to that effect, then that's where you would see your booking showing up here as a hyperlink, uh, at which point you would simply click on one and it would open the booking uh, for your adjustment. Finally, here at the bottom, we have a new section. Now you'll notice here, this is just Agencia Global specific news. So we don't usually put airlines uh, in this section, but anything that's kind of relevant to you as an agent. So you'll see going back to October, we launched a tool that allows you to hide your markup. We then had our live chat service. Uh, and so on, most recently actually effective today, and this is not because of the webinar, it just happened to land that way, 
Um, if we have any existing Agencia users uh, attending the webinar right now, effective today you will be making 25% more commission uh, than you used to. So basically whatever the airline is offering us is being passed in its entirety uh, over to the agent. So on that note, let's book the winner's flight. So we would simply click on book flights. Booking a flight on Agencia is a three page process. So this is page one of three. Uh, you'll see here you could book either a round trip, a one-way, or a multi-city flight. The multi-city now allows for up to five city pairs if you'd like to do so. And then over here we have our currency selector, which is not just a currency selector, but also a content selector. So let's say, for example, for anybody attending this call who's located in New York, if ever you're looking you know, for a family member up in Montreal, for example, who wants a flight um, from Montreal to Paris, by clicking on CAD here, not only are you going to have your fares displayed in Canadian dollars, but you're actually going to access our GDS content for Canada. So usually a Canadian consolidator will have better content out of Montreal, for example, than an American one. We're giving you the best of both worlds here. So in this case, we are going to book US as this is a US presentation. So at this point, you would simply enter your origin and destination. So let's say from Miami, going over to Bogota, then you would select your travel date. So we'll say, uh, hey, let's say we're going in the fall, we'll go smack here in the middle from the 16th, and we're coming back, let's say on the 28th, so origin, destination, and travel dates. You could fit up to nine passengers on one PNR. So at this point, you basically give the breakdown between number of adults, let's say we're going five adults with no kids, but in the case that there are kids as well, you have the ability to enter the number of children, infants on lap, and on seat. If you'd like to isolate a cabin class, so you know someone says, I only want to see your business rates, then you could just simply click on business and the results would populate as such. In this case, obviously, I'm going to click on all because I want to show you basically as many results as possible. Um, disable multi-tickets. What this means is, by default, Agencia is always going to give you as an option if you'd like two one-way tickets in lieu of a true round-trip fare. So that's basically to your discretion whether you'd like to use that or not. For the purposes of the demo here, just so I don't crowd you with too many results, I'm going to click on Disable, um, but that option is always there for you. So if you don't touch it, you're going to see the two one-ways in lieu of round trips along with the two round trips. You can also select your preferred airline down here by clicking over here, at which point you could either look them up if you enter the airline code, so any airline with the letters AV would be in there, or by spelling the airline name as well. So as you can see here with Avianca. Now, the webinar is sponsored by Avianca, but obviously we do want to show you results from other partners as well. So we're not going to filter specifically to the Avianca fares. Um, and that's pretty much it. So as I said, it's a three-page process. Page one is as simple as entering your origin destination, travel dates, and packs count, at which point you would hit search. Now, the reason why I wanted to use Miami to Bogota is you'll notice up here we have another banner. So this is actually uh, something that's been offered exclusively to Agencia by Avianca. So for the rest of the month, uh, Miami to Bogota is going to be paying you 10% commission. For those of you familiar with booking to the south, um, you know, the standard depending on whether it's high season or, or low season, but even if I were to err on the side of making the most money possible, you're probably aware that, you know, usually the commission rate hovers somewhere around 8% um, before the wholesaler kind of keeps their cut. In this case, Avianca is offering Agencia users 10% exclusively through Avianca, and we're not taking any of that. So, excuse me, exclusively through Agencia, and we're not taking any of that uh, 10%. So, the top of the second page here is just basically going to recap what you entered as search parameters on the first page. So, we asked for USD, we asked for Miami to Bogota in October for five adults, and I did disable the multi ticket search, as I mentioned earlier. So the first thing you're going to see when looking at your results is our carrier matrix. So what that does is it's going to consolidate fares by airline in ascending order of price from left to right. So for example, the least expensive is offered by Avianca at 1845, which is why they're here, followed by Copa Airlines at 1883, and so on. This is just to give you a very, very high level idea of where airlines stand. Um, we do give you the breakdown by direct one stop and two or more stop itineraries. The least expensive overall fare in the matrix, regardless of number of stops and flight duration, is always going to be highlighted in green, 
with the least expensive option of the other two rows, in this case, COPA for the one stop and Avianca for the direct, is gonna be highlighted in blue. Now that said, again, this is just kind of for a high level idea, but when you scroll down here in the available flight section, now we have all airlines ranked in ascending order of price. Uh, you'll notice here that we actually isolate the fare type as well. So in this case, we're only, we only have uh, published fares available, but we could also filter these results down. So again, here we're looking, you know, we got 376 here, 388, 368, but we don't know necessarily what this entails. Like, are we looking at two stop itineraries? Are we looking at ridiculously long layover times? So the first thing we'll do, since this is the first result here is, we'll click on view flights and we'll see, for example, your least expensive fare at 1844 actually involves two connections on the way out, uh, despite the fact that you have a one-way direct flight on the way back. The reason I'm showing you this itinerary to start is that regardless of the airline you're looking at, our connection times are always gonna be indicated between the segments. Now, anything highlighted in red, for your convenience, uh, we highlight in red, is anything at four hours or more. Anything under four hours, you'll see it in green. So as you're kind of scrolling through the fares, you could kind of come to a quick idea of you know, which one makes more sense. So here's a great example. Same flight on the way out, not necessarily the same one on the way back, one with a 20 hour connection, the other one with a three hour connection. So, you know, maybe worth the extra 160 bucks here to take this one. Now, as I said, when we got to this section, we do see a lot of carriers, we do see a lot of prices, and it's not really telling us the whole story. So what you could do at this point is filter your results by clicking over here. And then we give you a bunch of different options you could choose from. So uh, again, I'm gonna keep it very simple here. Let's say for example, you know what? We know that direct flights are available, so we're not interested in any of this one-stop, two-stop business. And you know, the flight time in case of connections, you know what, let's just go back with one stop here. In the case of a connection, you know, if you wanna say, let's get rid of those ridiculously long connection times, I want my round trip time, let's say to be, let's cap it at here, just under 17 hours. Now, this here is only visible to me as I'm logged into an uh, as I'm logged into agency as an administrator, but basically you're gonna get all ticket types, including single and multi-ticket, unless you disable it on the first page. And obviously we're gonna let you pull content from any of our PCCs. So now once you select those parameters, if you were to apply filters, you'll see right here that the results got consolidated even further. Now some of them disappeared because two-stop itineraries were involved and so on. So we see here, okay, well, COPA is the least expensive, but when we click, we see nothing but a bunch of connecting flights. Now, if I were to scroll back up and say, you know what, it's a relatively short flight, there's no point in stopping. The minute I apply my filters, now I'm getting an idea of who offers a direct flight and at what cost. Um, now, I'd like to draw your attention right over here to this section You'll see next to the UA fare, we don't have a little blue line, whereas LATAM, um, American Airlines, and Avianca do. If you see this little blue line here, what that means is there are branded fares available. So we'll get to that in a bit, but we've kind of made your job a bit easier on the uh, upselling front. So if ever you wanna get an idea of how much more it would cost to upgrade the customer from one fare family to the next, because let's say, for example, they want their seat selection, they want a piece of luggage included and all that good stuff, um, we give you an easy way to kind of sort through that. So before we actually get to the fair selection uh, portion, we're just gonna scroll right back up here and close our search results. And I'd like to draw your attention to our flexible day matrix here. So you'll see here it says flexible day matrix from 1883. When I click on this, it's gonna add and subtract three days from both the outbound and the inbound date. So the fare that corresponds to the dates that we select is always gonna be in the middle of the matrix right here highlighted in gray, as you can see that 1845. Anything that's not highlighted is more expensive, has a more expensive fare than the dates you selected. Anything highlighted in green will be less expensive. So <coughs> in this case here, we have a decent price, uh, or sorry, uh, my apologies. In the case that you do have the least expensive price already, so 1845 is the least expensive, the next uh, cheapest price will be highlighted in green. Now, assuming the roles were reversed here and this was at 1883 and this one was at 1845, then those two spaces would still be highlighted. So let's say, for example, you did have a customer who, let's say here, you know, it was saying 1700 and 
they were okay with traveling from the 15th to the 31st, you'll see my cursor over here turns into a little finger pointer. So if I were to click on this fare right now, and I'm not gonna do so, so I don't waste uh, any of your time, but if I were to click on that uh, cell, basically the, the search would rerun, but as if we had selected those dates as our uh, outbound and inbound, so kind of just to make it a bit more convenient for you. In this case, we do have the least expensive available fare in the matrix, so we'll close that up. And we can then proceed to booking with our least expensive carrier, in this case being, lucky for me, Avianca. Um, so now you'll see here that we have one outbound option and three inbound options. Now, any of these options will yield the same price of $2,200, taxes included, for the amount of passengers that we selected. So you'll see the price here per passenger as well as the total price right over here. So 440 times five is $2,200. When you click on view flights, you'll notice uh, some quick info on the segment. So right over here, you have a number of seats remaining, the airline uh, with the flight number. If operated by a different carrier, you'd see a little asterisk here. And when you hover over it, it'll show you um, basically who's operating that flight. You have your RBD, segment OD, departure and arrival time, and flight duration. Every single segment will have this little blue eye next to it, which when you click on it, is gonna pop up a new window. And the purpose here is to basically give you access to the fare rules in the GDS without you having to actually look in the GDS. So all this info here is available in Amadeus. Um, when Avianca updates it, Agencia updates it automatically. So we're automatically pulling from the GDS live. So anytime an airline does change, some sort of uh, fair rule, you'll always, you'll always be up to date with Agencia thanks to this little feature over here. Now, you'll also notice we have a little blue luggage icon over here, so if I were to click on that, a new window will pop up leading you directly to the airline's website so that you can look up their baggage policy. So if for any reason you wanna look up some info, simply click on that blue luggage icon, and again, this is kind of to avoid any human error on our end, we wanna ensure that you're as up to date as possible. So we redirect you to the airline's website for you know, the clear cut truth on the matter. So let's say for example, we like the price, we like the fact that we're getting you know, some direct flights, uh, we wanna fly on an airline that's gotten, I believe uh, they, they've gotten eight Skytrax, Skytrax awards, excuse me, since 2013 as being the best airline uh, flying to South America. So we like the price, we know we're flying with quality. At that point, we would select both our outbound and our inbound. And you'll see right here, there's a little commission calculator that pops up automatically. So there you go, you know how much commission you stand to make instantly on this booking. Now what's really cool about this is, you'll see that the branded fares available on this flight are their super promo fares and their econo, uh, econo fares. So the price per pack is $44 more, but if you want to know why, all you have to do is hover over the tabs and you'll see what's included and what's available at a charge for each fare family. So in this case here, we have 50% mileage accrual and that's about it. Whereas with the Econo, we have our seat selection, we have 100% mileage accrual, and we have our carry-on luggage. Now, if you'd like to select this fare here, you'll notice here the price per adult. Once I click on the tab, we'll switch over to a 484. Now, what is being worked on at the moment is, you'll notice here the commission didn't go up despite the fact that the fare increased. When you proceed to check out, you'll notice actually that that amount will go up. So I'll ask you to draw your attention to the 161 because it will be higher on the next page. So now, assuming that, you know, we've kind of found the itinerary we like, we're ready to go, we want to book, we would simply click on the book button right over here, and off we go to page three of three. So now we're just uh, confirming our seat availability. In the meantime, you know, we could just confirm we didn't make any mistakes. We have our flight numbers, our OD, travel dates, and the flight times as well. So as was the case on page two, page three at the top is gonna recap what you entered on the previous page. So here's the itinerary you selected. Again, you have your carrier, aircraft, your RBD, flight times, all that good stuff. If you forgot to click on the luggage icon, you could do so here. On this page, now that we've actually selected the fare, when you hover over it, it'll even tell you how many pieces of luggage are included. So in this case, Avianca is gracious enough to offer us um, one piece of luggage uh, included. 
So now I'm just going to click on autofill. You wouldn't see this on your end. What I'm doing by clicking on this is just basically pre-filling um, the forms with passenger info so I don't waste any of your time uh, making you watch me fill out um, passenger information. So now I've clicked on the autofill. We're good to go. It is going to recap right under the itinerary what's available in your in the fair family that you selected. So again, here, this is Econo, Super Promo is available. I'm not gonna waste your time now or insult your intelligence showing you how to fill out a passenger info form. So this is what was accomplished by me clicking on the autofill button. And now we get to basically the reasons why you as an agent may be interested, aside from the fact that we give 100% of our commission to you, uh, why you may be interested in moving towards Agencia as your booking platform of choice. So welcome to our price breakdown section. Uh, this is where you see how much money you stand to make. Now remember on the previous page when I clicked on the different fair family, uh, the commission stayed set at 161, uh, although we're now at 183. So that's just a little fix. We, we launched uh, fair families, I'd say not more than a month ago, so it's a bit of a new tool. Um, but this is evolving so that you'll be able to see the live commission change on the second page sooner rather than later. Now, the fare here is broken down by passenger, so you'll have your base fare and you have your taxes for your subtotal. So here you go, 1830 plus your 590 of taxes for a grand total of 2420. Now, if you scroll a bit further down in the agency payout section here, you see how much you stand to make, which is $183 of commission, and we haven't marked up the fare because it's a published fare. Now, in the case that you're working with a net fare, in this case, uh, the options available didn't include net fares, but if a net fare is available, obviously you as an agent wanna know how much the airline allows for you to mark it up so as to maximize your profitability. So here, instead of redirecting you to an airline website or having you reach out to us, we've actually preloaded that info in Agencia. So when you hover over here, a little pop-up's gonna show up showing you how much you're allowed to mark it up per the airline's policy, which in this case is zero, obviously, because we're using a commissionable published fare. But right under, you'll see that we've put what the maximum, maximum markup we allow is. So we allow you to mark it up by up to $3,600 on a $2,400 fare. So I guess in this context, we could say basically unlimited markup. Now, as for the charges on the customer's credit card, it's a true published commissionable fare. So the 2420 will be on Avianca's merchant account. Now, we've been in touch with agents regularly over the last 18 months since we relaunched Agencia, and the feedback has been um, that if we could solve two major problems for you as travel agents, uh, it would make the tool more appealing. So the two things that we heard a lot was you're tired of having your markup exposed, um, and you'd love for the ability to hide your markup, and if we could get rid of separate credit card charges on your customer's invoice, uh, and credit card statement, you know, it would go a long way in allowing you to mark up your fares as a package deal without necessarily exposing how much you're making on the deal. So this is actually a great example. Because we're using a published fare, we're not allowed to mark it up. But let's say, you know, you're an agent in Miami. Uh, you have a solid base of clientele that does fly in and out of Colombia. So, you know, you could arrange for some shuttle service or limo service to and from the airport. You've got connections at hotels, so you could kind of say, you know, I could get you a free uh, room upgrade on the hotel. I could get you some meal vouchers and all that good stuff. So let's say here for five passengers, everything you're throwing in is worth, uh, let's just say $100 a passenger. So now you're looking to mark up your fare by $500. So you would enter your $500 here, at which point your 2420 is still there. Here's your markup of $500, but as most agents have told us, this is where you're stuck with a separate credit card charge. Why? Because Avianca is only allowing you to charge to their merchant account the amount of the published fare. So whether it be with Agencia or through any other consolidator, basically you would have to live with the fact that there's a separate charge on the consolidator's merchant account that's going to show up as a separate line item on your customer's credit card statement. Now, as is the case with most consolidators, there is a service fee when using their Merchant account, in the case of Agencia, is 3%. So if, for example, you have somebody who's willing to pay in the $3,000 range, but this is not information you want to share with them because you're saying, 
hey, listen, for about three, $3,000, not only do I have the flights, but you got your limo service, you got your meal vouchers, you got your, your uh, room upgrade, and they agreed to the price. But then lo and behold, you charge them, they're happy uh, when they step out of your agency, then the credit card statement comes in and all of a sudden your phone rings and you're being asked, hey, this $515, what's this all about? Is that the money you made off me? Is that how much I paid for the room upgrade? I thought I was getting uh, a package deal. So in my experience in, in reaching out with agents, I've heard this is something you'd love to get rid of. So thanks to Agencia, you finally can. This is the point where I'll ask you to redirect your attention right over here to the pricing strategy section. By default, lowest price is always selected. What does that mean? If you wanna mark up your fare by $500, this charge of $29.35 is the lowest price you could charge on Agencia, but it'll be broken down between these two separate charges. Now, if instead of lowest price, and I'll ask you to direct your attention here because the fare will go up by a bit, if you were to drop down your menu here and click on single charge, your 29.35 becomes 3,007. But why is that? Because now all of a sudden we're forcing the sale to come completely to our merchant account. So now for a package price of $3,000, your customer is gonna ha have only one charge on their credit card. Now that phone call that you used to get saying, hey, what's this $515 charge on my card? What did you charge me for here? What did you charge me for there? Now that phone call just becomes, hey, I'm seeing a charge for Agencia Global instead of Avianca on my credit card. Is that okay? At that point, you just tell them, sure, Agencia is our wholesaler, everything's good, and you just kind of move on. So now, you know, we, we have been asked the question, well, you know, what if I was looking to respect the price of, you know, in the low 2900s? At that point, we say, well, if you want to mark up your fare by only 425, let's say, there you go, you're back to the vicinity of the pricing you were at earlier. So yeah, the markup takes a bit of a hit, but again, this is the only tool that would allow you to even apply a markup of $1 in a single charge, let alone $425. So it's kind of up to you. Do you think you have a customer willing to pay the $3,000 or are you looking to respect the $2,930? Completely up to you. In this case, let's say we're going for our package price of $500. There we go. We're back to our $3,775. So this tool here, we encourage you to use it as much as possible. Sell your packages. Sell your value adds. Uh, we know as agents that, you know, especially for the experienced ones amongst you, you've built key contacts in many destinations across the globe, and you have access to some deals that you may not be sure exactly how to charge for them. Use Agencia as your go-to tool for this. As, as I showed earlier, you know, you're talking about a $2,400 published fare that will allow you to mark up by $3,600. Obviously, we're realistic. We don't expect you to mark up the ticket by $3,600. But for example, here, if you think that what you're giving the customers is worth $100 each, feel free to mark it up. And thanks to Agencia, don't worry about conversations, about split credit card charges or any of that good stuff. So this is one of the key features that we've brought to the market to kind of help you get over that whole objection of, you know, what were these two charges and all that good stuff. So let's say now you have your five passengers in your office. They love the price of $3,075. You're offering them a package price, but all of a sudden they all whip out their credit cards simultaneously and three start complaining that they wanna earn points and the other two start complaining that they wanna earn cash back. So they all wanna either use their own credit card or start arguing over who's gonna pay with their credit card and have everyone else pay them back. Now we understand that you as an agent don't really care to listen to people bickering when you could be investing that time um, making money on, on the next booking. So. What we've done is if you scroll down and you get to the payment section, you could book and pay immediately or hold your booking. Uh, we always allow you to hold the booking until 11 p.m. same day, um, just so as to avoid any frustration the next day if there were any fair changes or anything like that. We don't want to make you look like you're not keeping true to your word. So we ask you to advise your customers that, you know, if they need to go back home and get their passport or their credit card or anything to that effect in order to protect the price, uh, they would have to come back same day. But let's assume now that we're looking to book and pay immediately. By default, single payment will always be selected. Now, if single payment is selected, you'll see here, for example, I get to the credit card section, I could enter my name, and off we go, I'm paying for everybody. Now, let's say everyone wants to use their own credit card. Problem is, uh, as agents, what that means is you're gonna have to book five separate PNRs. And by booking five separate PNRs, 
if a schedule change comes in, you have five times the work to do. So, in this case, you could simply click on multiple payment, at which point you could select up to as many credit cards as there are passengers flying. So, let's say everybody wants to use their own credit card and we have five passengers. Now, these names are made up. That's why I clicked the uh, autofill button at the top of the page earlier. And you'll notice here we have slots for credit cards. Now, if I go back down here and I want to enter payment information, you'll notice it's not allowing me to because I have to assign passengers to their credit cards. So we've tried to make this as painless and as easy as possible for you. You simply drag every customer into their card of choice, at which point when everybody has been assigned a card, this payment section opens again and you could say, okay, well, Jimmy's paying with his card on card one and then card two, let's say we got Thomas over here paying with his card and so on. So I would simply scroll through all five credit cards, enter my payment info, and we're done. Everybody is gonna have their fare of 601.55 showing up as one single charge on their credit card from Agencia Global. And your markup is in there, you've made your money, but in this case, you have five different customers all taking the same flight on one PNR, all paying with their own credit cards, none of which have any idea how much you marked up your fare by. So, uh, the feedback has been, you know, I'm tired of explaining separate credit card charges. I'm tired of listening to people bicker over who's going to use their credit cards <coughs> to book from multiple passengers. So these solutions we've brought to the platform hopefully will make your lives easier as agents going forward. Now you'll notice everybody does have the exact same fare to pay. We don't allow for splitting the fare. So let's say Rocio over here can't have 301.55 on this card here and 300 on this one. Everyone is responsible for paying their own, uh, their own fare. Now let's say, for example, we don't have five people traveling together. We have uh, two couples, one of which has a child. So they're looking at using two different credit cards. Well, now Agencia, by default, will always leave one in the last card and push the rest all into the first one. But let's say Ned is traveling here with Shania. We take Shania transfer her right over there, and here's couple one with their child, and here's couple two with no kids. Once again, these ones responsible for 601 times three, and these ones here responsible for 601 times two. Now again, this is the point where we would proceed to entering our credit card payment info. Just so I could speed things up here, I'm gonna move back to single payment, uh, so I could just kind of uh, move on here. Um, at this point, I would have to enter our info, which I, I guess I shouldn't be displaying uh, <laughs> on a public webinar screen, so um, I won't be doing this um, now. But basically, once you enter your passenger info, you would simply scroll down right over here, click that you agree to the terms and conditions, and hit book and pay. Once you hit book and pay, you will be provided um, an Agencia Global uh, confirmation number. So at that point, uh, you will be receiving your tickets by email within the hour, but you do have your confirmation number, your Agencia Global confirmation number. So if you do have any questions before you get your ticket, you could simply email us or call us, give us that booking number, and then we could just go ahead to, um, to opening that booking and answering any questions that you have. Um, and that's pretty much it at that point. So, um, now the customer itinerary and invoice, again, I would show it, but I don't want to display any public credit card info. Um, the customer invoice and, uh, and uh, itinerary will be available as a PDF that you could download, uh, both of which would have your agency name. So what I mean by that is if I scroll back up here and I go to my agency, so you'll see here, like I've put, this is our, email address, what type of agency we are, but see here we have our address and all that good stuff. When your invoice populates, it will not say Agencia Global on it. It's going to say ABC Travel or you know what, whatever your, your agency's name is. So the, both the itinerary and the invoice are branded Agencia. So uh, not branded Agencia, excuse me, branded for your, uh, your, your agency. Uh, so if you're using some sort of separate software program at this point to generate your own invoices, we're getting rid of that headache for you as well. Uh, and that's received instantly as an email and as a hyperlink on your confirmation page, which you could download directly. 
Um, so on that note, uh, thank you all very much uh, for attending. Hopefully you like what you saw. Uh, if you do have any questions, obviously I believe, Chris, we do still have a few minutes for kind of a uh, Q&A period if anybody has any questions, but I will be typing in my email address right over here. So if anybody would like to take note of this and send me any follow-up questions, please don't hesitate. Um, we're open to feedback as well as, as well as suggestions. So kind of as I showed you previously, um, you know, the multiple credit cards, the single charge, we brought those to our platform because agents like you actually spoke up and said, this is what I need to make my life easier. So we're asking you to do the same here. If you like what you saw, but you think it could even be just a bit better if we added X or Y or Z, please feel free to let us know. We're always evolving, always opening to suggestion. And the goal is not just to earn your business, but to make your life easier in the process as well. So on that note, Chris, I guess I'll uh, cede the floor to you and uh, we'll answer any questions. Fantastic. Well, thank you, Jimmy, for that very informative presentation. Um, looks like a fantastic platform, and we are getting um, some compliments coming in. Uh, looks so one being the this booking engine is awesome. It solves a number of issues that a attendee has had in the past. Um, very exciting. Um, and we have a couple of questions here. Um, first one being, do you have any domestic contracts? Domestic contracts, meaning uh, into U.S., like if we're flying JFK to LAX? Yes. So we have partnerships with uh, every single major American airline company. Uh, the thing is that the vast majority will not pay a penny on domestic uh, U.S. So if available, our partnerships are strong enough to offer you that commission. And again, if available, we forward 100% of it uh, over to you. But the reality of the industry dictates that there isn't really much money to be made on that front. Sure, sure. Great. Um, next question here. Do you offer group fares? Uh, not at the moment. So that's why I was saying here on the first page, we allow for up to nine passengers on one PNR. But you know what? That's a great opportunity for me for me to kind of uh, tell you all what we're looking at, uh, at, at adding to the platform going forward. So... Right now, our top priority, uh, aside from content, obviously my job is to be a pit bull and kind of consistently harass airlines for more, uh, more aggressive content. But our priority, as far as the platform is concerned right now, is uh, seat selection, as that's the ancillary that's most asked about by airlines and most common. Um, so within the next few months, we will be launching a seat map, which will allow you to book your, uh, your passengers' uh, seats right away. Uh, followed by hotels. So once we offer a more complete solution, like with the ancillaries, with the hotels, you saw we have the car rentals as well. Um, but as I said, the car rental is kind of going to a third party right now. We're working on negotiating our own contract. When we have our own airline content, our own uh, hotel content, as well as our own car rentals, that's when we're going to evolve into the booking, uh, booking of groups. Now, I, I'm a big fan of, you know, under promise over deliver instead of making false promises. So to be straightforward with whoever asked that question, I would expect groups to only be available as of 2020. Fantastic. Um, next one here is what credit card verification is required from the customer? Uh, what credit card verification is required? So basically, as long as they have the credit card in hand and they could provide you with the information, um, we would expect that you as an agent would, you know, check their ID and all that good stuff. But we do have a uh, pretty advanced fraud scrubbing algorithm that is going to kind of flag bookings if, you know, any type of red flag is, is raised. So that's where I would kind of redirect you back here to our dashboard page. And that's where they would show up here. So you, you would actually get um, an email notifying you automatically that your booking is being held for fraud analysis. Uh, and if you want to actually open the booking, you just log in here. And our confirmation numbers are nine digits. So you would see a nine digit blue hyperlink here on which if you were to click, it'll open your booking and you could see what the process is like. But even, even in the case of fraud, um, you're talking within the hour, we're going to let you know if we've let it go through or if we've rejected it based on, you know, too high a concern. 
Um, that said, as far as fraud uh, goes, uh, Agencia isn't easy to sign up to and actually get your account confirmed. So in this case, because we're working with Jax, Jaxfax, we are allowing for some leniency. Thanks to those who have signed up already, actually. Uh, it appears as though we were getting signups throughout the webinar, so hopefully uh, you liked what you saw. But usually you don't open an account on Agencia without providing your company info and literally speaking to someone at Agencia over the phone. So once we've done that, we kind of, you know, we kind of assume some responsibility on our end saying, hey, we've vetted the agent, they are legit, now we're gonna let our fraud scrubbing algorithm take over from there. So we can kind of protect you at the same time. Great, um, and in that same vein, does Agencia require a copy of the front and back of the card before booking the fare? Nope. All right. Nope. So, uh, you know what? I'll try and make this as quick as possible to get back to that famous checkout page, which, by the way, leads me to show you one more cool feature. If you click on your recent searches, you'll actually see the last 10 searches you made. So here I was doing some testing before, obviously, on Miami to Bogota. But if you click on that, you'll see it pre-populates with exactly the search criteria you wanted. And now I'm just going to filter down to Avianca because the search will go a lot faster when you're only using one airline because now it's scrolling through the GDS just to pull out specifically Avianca fare. So before it was about a 20 second wait, this will be less than 10. Uh, when we get to that checkout page, I'll kind of show you the criteria required uh, in order to accept credit cards. So I'll, I'll just ask for that question to be put on hold until I get there. There we go, a few flights, any random itinerary now with a bunch of stops, it's fine since we're just trying to get to the end. So once we click on book, there we go. And uh, yeah, I gotta admit, uh, I'm, I'm in the process of uh, shopping for South American flights, and I was kind of taking a look at uh, one airline to the next. Um, you know, there, there's obviously the major ones, and then you know, there's there's more the niche carriers such as uh, Avianca, Copa, uh, Latam. Uh, I, I do just want to mention again, not only is their team like an absolute pleasure to work with, um, but you know, they they are a very well-renowned airline between the SkyTrack Awards. Uh, they were actually uh, recently named uh, a TripAdvisor Traveler's Choice Award uh, recipient as well. So I wouldn't just promote uh, these webinars for you know airlines that are just willing to work with us. Uh, they do have to meet a certain criteria of Agencia Global as well. So if we find that an airline has too high a rate of fraudulent bookings, or the support isn't there or so on, you'll never, ever, ever see me promoting them in a webinar. Uh, whereas here I feel really confident in, in the product we're presenting. So here you go, for anyone wondering, I guess the card would have to be there uh, so that you know you could get that number from the back of the card, uh, but we're not asking for any you know scans or copies of their credit card or anything to that effect. Great, and one last question here. Um, can we call in your res office to book our tickets? Uh, I guess you could give us a call, but that's not necessarily the the, the goal of our contact info. So uh, if I were to just scroll down here, so yes, we could help you in booking, but the goal was basically to create a platform so user-friendly that you wouldn't need to call us, right? If you do need to though, just click on the contact us link at the bottom. Um, we have our 1-800 number, which is open um, at, on these hours here. Eastern Standard Time, and we do actually have a live chat Monday to Friday from uh, 9 to 5. So if you click right down here, now it just so happens that um, the person managing this is at a training for the afternoon, which actually shows us uh, what happens outside of hours. So you'll notice here that little envelope is actually a little speech bubble during regular Eastern Standard Time business hours. So when you click on that, there's a chat that kind of opens and our team responds to you. If it's after hours, or in this case, an exceptional situation where someone's out for training, it becomes a little envelope. You could click here, type your message to us, and you know, once you submit, we receive that as an email, and then we'll respond as soon as possible. Um, so yeah, the quick answer is yes. Uh, if you call us, we will book the ticket for you. Um, but expect that to come with the territory of us offering you to familiarize yourself better with Agencia so that you don't need to. We want you to be independent. We want you to be able to handle your own, your own bookings, and that's why we strive to kind of give you the most user-friendly platform out there.
Fantastic. Um, and it actually looks like one more came in. Is your office based in NYC? Uh, actually, no. So I guess uh, maybe my Canadian accent gave it away, but I'm actually north of the border. So our head office is in Montreal, Quebec, uh, but we do have an office as well in uh, just outside of Atlanta uh, for our um, basically to satisfy our requirements. So we do have a team down there in Atlanta, but HQ, like our CEO, myself as a director, and the vast majority of our team is located here in Montreal, uh, but we do service the U.S. obviously, and we're we're very proud to uh, to work with our uh, partners south of the border. Great. Well, it looks like that about wraps it up for questions. Um, just as as a reminder, the webinar is being recorded and will be available at jaxfax.com under agent training. Um, so fear not if you need to go back and brush up on any of the details that will be available in the days to follow. Um, and again, thank you all for joining us today. Thank you, Jimmy, for the presentation. Uh, and keep an eye out for emails on webinars in the future. Uh, Chris, if I could just step in one more time, I just want to make sure that no one attended the webinar and then doesn't meet eligi eligibility requirements uh, for the free pair of tickets that we'll be raffling off. Sure. So please ensure that you have registered your account on Agencia Global. We're not asking you to make a booking. We think our product speaks for itself. If you want to book with us, go for it. We just ask that you register your, your account. Um, and we do audit our Facebook page as well, as will uh, the airline when we select the winner. So please like Agencia Global on Facebook. Please like Avianca on Facebook and make sure to register your account. Uh, we'll give it till end of day today. Uh, so if you are busy and you know you're in a rush to get back to your customers, we're not going to ask you to prioritize this over everything else. But if you do have some spare time this evening, please ensure that you're registered and that you've liked both Facebook pages. The last thing I want is to draw a name and then say, whoops, they didn't meet the criteria. Sure, that is absolutely a good reminder there. Well, thank you all again. Um, we appreciate your time today and look forward to speaking with you in the future. Thank you so much for your time, Chris. And keep in mind, everyone, that 10% from Avianca is available up until the 30th exclusively to Agencia. Make them spend that money. If they're willing to pay it to you, I want you to earn it. Fantastic. Well, thank you, Jimmy, and uh, thank you all for joining us today. And uh, bye-bye for now. Thank you, everyone, for your time. Have a great day.